Okay, you hosers, we're going to be doing some Canadian activities here in the Great White North. I've got my propane uh, canister with my torch on it. Hey, what's up? Jack the Scrapper here. I've got some interesting things to do with lead. If you're interested, and you are, you can make things. Look, I've made a star. All you need is some lead. If you're a scrapper, you know where to get it. Wheel weights, fishing lures, fishing lead weights, scuba shops. Okay, I'm going to melt some lead now. So whenever I'm melting lead, eh? I like to get, like, if I got some scraps from, like, lying around, I'm going to put this in my cooking pot where I'm going to be melting. And then I've got some lead shot, which is just little pellets. And I'm going to be adding that. So I've got a fairly decent amount, and I'm going to be casting a small ingot. Step one, make a fire. Step two, heat up the lead till it melts. Lead melts at less than 400 degrees Celsius, so a propane torch with leftover propane is all you need to get this thing cooking. Now you always wanna make sure you have somewhere to pour it when you melt it. If you're gonna be casting lead, make sure you have a steel bin that you can pour it into when you're done, or a steel, and especially like a steel pot. I just ran out of propane. Once it's melted, you're gonna wanna skim off the dross. Here's an old barbecue scraper. Now, two more things. The ingot that you're casting, you're gonna wanna heat it up. If you put a torch to it, there's no oxidization of the lead as it's being poured into the ingot. Even if it is just a tiny cupcake tray. <sighs> you can add wood chips to this to add carbon to it to purify your lead the best as you can but if you're just doing some basic casting you don't need to do that if you'd like to see the lead that i just formed i'm going to show you now hmm. the idea would be to make sure there's no contaminants in it or anything but if you're just going to make stuff with it who cares you don't have to use a little cupcake tray to mold it. You can make shapes in dirt. This is a shape I made. I poured the lead into this, and this is what I got. Yep, a pair of ice grips always helps when you're trying not to burn yourself. And voila, we have ourselves an ingot. This pure lead. It's still hot. <laughs> anyway, that's something fun you can do. I know I always have extra propane tanks lying around and there's nothing stopping us from melting this stuff down to make a little more money. Not too many scrapyards buy propane tanks unless they're cut in half. So, what do you do with a drunken sailor? I mean, not a drunken sailor. What do you do with a propane tank? Yes, what do you do with a propane tank when there's propane in it and you need to cut it in half? You use it for cooking. But if you're like me, like I said, we get a lot. Here's my propane tanks from the last couple of weeks. Hmm. I have a hard time using it up for cooking. So, I developed a new hobby. Okay, bye. <laughs>